Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Today's video is about a checklist for BOQ preparation. So this video is going to be helpful for all quantity surveyors who are into pre-contracts, who are doing freelance works or who are doing full-time work, part-time work. So with this video, you will get to know what all documents or what all queries needs to be addressed before you start your BOQ preparation. Please bear in mind that rate analysis is not included in this video. This video is basically preparing a BOQ with the quantities after doing your quantity takeoff from the different softwares like AutoCAD, Plan, Swift or Bluebeam and then including that quantities into the BOQ. The rate analysis part is not included under this checklist. So without further delay, let's move into the video. So basically, the first thing that you need to understand is the scope of your work. Now, what is the type of work that needs to be measured? Now, as you all know, there are different work segments like the civil works, the architectural works, structural works, MEP works, external works. So first, you need to get a clarity from the client regarding what the scope is, whether we have to measure the quantities for all the civil activities, all the MEP activities, or is it just the MEP activities, or is it just the civil activities? So get the clarity about that first. Then only we can start our measurements. Next is the documents availability. So once you get all the documents from the client to start the BOQ preparation, you need to check if all the documents are available or not, if any documents are missing. Sometimes some drawings of some floors of a building might be missing. Some reports or the specifications for that project might be missing from the documents that you have received from the client. Usually there will be a drawing register that is available with all the documents. Most clients or most companies provide these to the QS consultants or the QS company. So you can just check all your drawings with this register and find out if anything is missing. So once if any drawings or reports or specifications are missing, you need to put that into the query sheet. So a query sheet is a sheet wherein all your queries related to the project is put up. I'll be explaining that at the end of this presentation. So you can put what all drawings, which all drawing numbers are not available or which all reports needs to be made available so that you can do uh, accurate quantity measurements. And most importantly, the specification. This is a very important document required without which it will be difficult for preparing the BOQ. You need to know which type of material is used for the different items, the pipe materials, the cable material, the cement type, the door material, the flooring material. So all these type of materials needs to be known so that that can be included in your BOQ without knowing which type of material it is going to be difficult for the pricing purpose. Next are the technical details. So technical details are something that is missing from your drawings. It can be some items, the dimensions of some items, or it can be the description of symbols. Usually the design technicalities is not a headache of a quantity surveyor. Whatever is available in the drawing needs to be measured. Whether the design is satisfactory or not is not a problem of a quantity surveyor. So this is usually the duty of the design engineers to make a proper drawing available. So the routing or the sizes or the ratings of the different equipments is not the concern of a quantity surveyor. Basically, we need to look that if any items is missing in the drawings, some items that needs to be there in the drawing but missing Sometimes a pipe routing, there might be ducts missing in some rooms. So there might be pipes missing in some rooms. There might be doors not shown in some areas of the floor. Or again, there might be dimensions, the ducting dimensions or the pipe dimensions missing in the drawings. And again, there might be some symbols shown in the drawings, but there, usually there will be legend drawings available. But in some cases, all the legends, all the symbols might not be shown in the legends. So these needs to be known prior to your takeoff so that you can include the item description in your takeoff sheets and then that needs to be included in the BOQ. And finally, you have to get 
the standard method of measurement that needs to be used for this project so that you can prepare the BOQ accordingly. Now, there are different types of standard methods like POMI, SESME4, SMM7, NRM, ARM, IS1200 that is for Indian projects. So when you get your documents, you also need to check under the reports or the specification or the project details, whether it is mentioned, what type of method of measurement is used for this project. If that is not available again, that needs to be clarified with the client and put up on the query sheet, or you can just mail them and get to know which type of measurement needs to be used for preparing this BOQ. So depending upon the type of project, type of client, the country where the project is located, the type of measurement method will also change. Now all these queries needs to be put up in the query sheet. So once you receive all your documents and the client star ask you to start your project, you will have to put up all your queries under a query sheet. So it will basically contain following headings like the type of query, whether it is a document or technical related query or if it is a document missing or if it is a scope related query, so that a type needs to be mentioned. Then a detailed description of that query, whether this drawing number is missing or this technical detail, the dimension of the pipe is not mentioned or this riser schematic drawing is not available. So all that detailed description needs to be put under the description column. Then if there are any drawing references, you can put that drawing number in under the drawing references. And you can also put a screenshot of drawings where if some details are not available, you can just take that screenshot of that part alone and then put up inside this column. Then you can also maybe assume something because you can, since you need to start your quantity takeoffs, you can just mention to the client that you're assuming that if such and such dimensions are not available, you're assuming that you're taking uh, for this pipe, you're taking 20 mm as the dia. Or you can also assume that uh, since some drawings are not missing, you can just assume that, okay, these drawings are not missing. So they, we are considering it as not under our scope. Or if some height or width or dimensions are not mentioned, you can assume some dimensions. And then you can send that to the client. So then the response will be there from the client there. You can put a column for that where the client can fill in the responses. So they will just respond that, okay, they'll just, if you assume something, they'll just confirm that, okay, you that is okay, you can move ahead. Or if you assume something and they are not agreeing to it, they will put up their response that for such and such pipe, you can use this dimension or such and such drawings will be sent to you within tomorrow or within two days. Or they will put their answers to all your queries under this response from client column. So there is a query sheet format. You can put up your email ID in the comment section so that I can send it through. I hope this video was informative and have provided with you a clarity of what all needs to be taken care of before preparing your BOQ for any project. Please do subscribe to this channel for more quantity surveying related videos. Please like this video if you have found it to be useful. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care. Bye.